Okay, good day everyone. This is still JV Morales and we're now on the second module of the course which is Mathematics for Efficiency. For Mathematics for Efficiency, our goal is to discuss the mathematics behind optimizing our resources. And this one is a good topic because, because we only have limited resources, it is best that we make the most out of them. The first tool that we have in optimizing our resources is linear programming. For this lecture, we will begin by re reviewing some important concepts. The, the review is divided into four parts. The first one is linear inequalities into variables. Next is graphing them using Desmos. The third is systems of linear inequalities into variables. And then the fourth one is graphing them using Desmos. Okay, so let's start. What is an inequality? In mathematics, an inequality is a mathematical statement showing that two quantities are not equal. We could have a less than symbol a less than or equal symbol. The small bar here signifies the possibility of equality. We have greater than symbol. We have greater than or equal symbol. And we also have continued inequalities. For continued inequalities, we start, we read them by starting at the middle. For instance, in this uh, continued inequality, we start by saying B followed by is greater than A and then followed by less than C. Now to test our understanding of inequalities, I have here comparisons and let's see okay, which comparisons is true which among the comparisons is true. So I'll give you time to think about your answers and then comment below if you have questions. Okay, so let's discuss your answers. For number one, we have true. Number two is true as well. Number three, false. Number four, false. Five is false. And then six is true. Okay, if you got all these six correctly, then you did a good job. Okay, moving on, we discuss linear inequalities in two variables. A linear inequality in two variables x and y is an inequality that, that involves ax plus by where a and b are real numbers. So we know that a and b cannot be simultaneously zero so that we will not lose the variables x and y. Here are some examples of linear inequalities in two variables. Okay, we have 2x minus 3y is greater than 10. 4x minus 5y is less than or equal to 100. 9x plus 6y is greater than 70, but less than or equal to 150. And 2x plus 5y is greater than 50. Now, when do we say that something is a solution to a linear inequality in two variables? Let's consider the linear inequality 2x plus 3y is greater than 10. Which among the points is a solution to this inequality? 
So I have here five points. We have the point 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, negative 2, 5, and 3, 2. So to check whether this point is a solution to the inequality, we substitute to x and y these values. So I'll give you time to think about your answers. And just like before, if you have questions, please uh, comment below. Okay, for number 1, 1, 2 is not a solution. 1, 3 is also yeah, is, is a solution. Number 3 is not a solution. Number 4, solution. And then finally, number 5 is also a solution. Okay. So we see that a linear inequality may have infinitely many solutions. So, in order to visualize all the solutions of a linear inequality, we will need to graph them on the Cartesian plane. So, this time we will use Desmos. It is an online application that will help us uh, find the solution of a linear inequality. Now, if you are interested to review how to graph linear inequalities manually, you can check out this uh, YouTube video. Okay, so let's discuss how to graph linear inequalities using Desmos. So, suppose we want to graph the inequality 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 10. So, you can go to the link desmos.com slash calculator. Okay. And then on this empty space, you type your linear inequality, 2x plus 3y less than and then equal and then 10. So notice that the symbol changed to this one. And we have the shaded region. The shaded region signifies all the solutions of the linear inequality. Now, for our discussion later, it is important to click the intercepts. So in this case, the intercepts are 0, 3.333 and the point 50. Okay, let's try another example. This time, we have 5x plus 7y is greater than 200. So let's take a look at the video graphing this inequality. So again, you go to desmos.com slash calculator and then type in your inequality 5x plus 7y is greater than 200. Okay, so notice that at this point, there is no shaded region. So sometimes, you have to zoom in or zoom out in order to see the shaded region. Okay, so there it is. And then do not forget to click the intercept. Okay, there. So that's it for graphing linear inequalities using Desmos. Okay, now what is a system of linear inequalities in two variables? So basically, a system of linear inequalities is a collection of at least two linear inequalities in two variables. An example of a system is this one. So the idea here is you have linear inequalities that are simultaneous. A point A, B is a solution to the system if this point satisfies all the inequalities in the system simultaneously. Now, since we're dealing with at least two linear inequalities, 
graphing the solution manually may take time. So similarly, we will use Desmos. So let's discuss how to graph system of linear inequalities using Desmos. So first, you grab or consider the system list all the inequalities you want to type. And then replace these inequalities with equal signs and this will be used later. And then finally, when you identify the shaded region, you click the corner points. Okay, so let's demonstrate this in the video. Okay, so again, go to desmos.com slash calculator. And then on the empty space, type in the first inequality. 2x plus 5y is less than 10. So there is our shaded region. For the next inequality, we put it in uh, curly braces. 6x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. And notice that the shaded region changed. For the third inequality, you put it also inside the shade, uh, the uh, curly braces. And then do the same thing for the fourth inequality. Also inside the uh, curly braces. Okay. So what we have here is uh, the shaded region that represents all the points that are solutions to our system of linear inequalities. Now, as I have mentioned earlier, it is important to identify the corners of the shaded region. So in order to do that, in order to do that, we must type all the inequalities but replace the inequalities with equal signs. So for the next space, okay, type in 2x plus 5y equals 10. And then second is 6x plus 3y equals 15. Okay, there you go. Next space is x equals 0. And then for the last space, y equals 0. Okay, so once you have uh, typed in all the equations, click the corners. Okay, there we go. And that's it. So this ends the review for linear programming. If you have questions, please type in uh, below.